Why, hello there, everybody. Are you here to view the stream? I regret to inform you, Julia has taken an invisibility potion given to her by an old witch inside of a cavern. And now she is invisible. And also, unfortunately, after taking the invisibility potion, she also took a silence potion from the same witch. The witch said, this one will make you visible again, but it made her silent instead. And then, unfortunately, she took a, 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 she can't, a, a, no, a she can't move potion after that from a different witch in the cavern, the next cavern over. So she's in the chair, but she can't move, and she's invisible and silent, unfortunately. It's a, a difficult day of potion taking. But we've heard, we've heard tell of another witch nearby that I think is going gonna, is gonna to have what it takes to get her back. A third witch. Oh my god, it worked! The third witch! The third witch! Come here! <laughs> the third witch worked! Ah. A lot of people are asking if I got a haircut or my hair is different. It's not any different and I didn't get a haircut. It's, it's the same. It's I think the, same the last hair. time people saw you it was like kind of short and like rest in here and now your hair is long enough where it can poof again. Maybe that's what it is. I don't know. I think know. that's what it is. <laughs> anyway. But it's the same hair. I love being late to a stream and then joy goes mm, i really need fresh water well she just got fresh water what she needs it again i need the freshest water let me into the bathroom please she doesn't oh, need the water i'm gonna sit on she the toilet already got now. the water i gave her the water yeah and then she sat on the toilet for a while and looked at me and then was like no i need water that's how she does it so then I had to give her water. I'm gonna with the camera. Do it. Do it, man. The cats are spoiled, yeah. There's Olive. You can see Olive now. Eh. Well, there she is. Try to get us a little more. What the fuck? What is that? What is, what is this? It's my sweatshirt. What is it doing on the floor? <laughs> well, I imagine it was on my chair. Uh, It looked to be on the floor to me. You're wearing your new pants. I like your new pants. I got, yeah, I got some new pants. Y'all, y'all, you probably just saw. You want to see my new pants? They're they're green. They're green corduroys. <laughs> Look at them. Do you want to see the back? <laughs> Are you getting a good angle on them? Can you see the booty? They're um, they're corduroy. A nice, a nice high cropped trouser. A high cropped corduroy. A high cropped corduroy trouser. Anyway, I'm dressed like a witch today because we're playing Cosmic Wheel Sisterhood. Whoa! Which is, you know, got some witchy vibes. I didn't dress like a witch because we were, believe it or not, we were running a little behind, <laughs> which is why it was silent for so long before I came on the mic. Yeah. Uh, um, people were saying AS, AS, AS. <laughs> AS, AS, AS. Like that song from the game. AS, AS. One of the AS. greatest songs ever written. Yeah. At least the best lyrics. But in any case, we're here now. Yes. Um, we're here. I'm sorry to everyone that was really wanting me to play um, Nancy Drew, but. Uh, there's a lot going on for us right now, and neither of us have the brain capacity to do, figure out how that works. We didn't want to tech support. No. It. No. Into working. No. I was too busy playing Armored Core 6 and then laying on the couch alternately. My favorite thing that you do when you play Souls games for the first time is you go, fuck, fuck you, fuck you. I did it. <laughs> one of the joys of playing uh from soft games is yelling fuck you as loud as you can at the tv and you also go that was bullshit that was bullshit i did it i did it <laughs> well once you did it then you did it 
every time he accomplishes beating a boss that he's died to a bunch, he just goes, I did it. One of my favorite <laughs> things to, to do is go, what? Yeah. That's one of my favorites. That's true. And then you often will spin to me. But <laughs> and then gesture at the TV. Words won't happen. And he'll just go, bah, 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 duh, bah, bah. <laughs> Yeah. I do. All, I did all of those things. It's really funny. I'm loving the game though. Um, somebody said the first boss was some real shit. It, I, I got him in, I'd say, less than 10 tries. I would agree with that, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Less than 10, but definitely more than five. Yeah, I was thinking around six or seven. Is yeah. Around where it took you. And then I just, I just beat the boss of the second the second chapter. Do you know how Jacob keeps beating people? Is that he runs out of ammo and then <laughs> he gets to about 25 out of several thousand health and just punches people for the last fourth of their health. I really wish I had recorded my winning fight against that first boss because it was literally just what Julia said. I got down to like 200 mm -hmm. HP and the boss had a fourth of its health left and I was completely out of ammo. So I just punched... I just, I went into like sicko mode and I just dodged and punched and I managed to win. You truly went it into was like, so funny. you went into the zone and yeah. time slowed down for you and you like spun around all the bullets and would just punch in between. Um, but it is very funny to see all these flying missiles happening and then your character just go, uh, uh, yeah. in that cadence. It's really uh. funny. <laughs> Uh, someone said that's disappointing. I was hoping it would be more Armored Core than FromSoft. First of all, Armored Core is made by FromSoft since the first one. Yeah. And second of all, this game is incredibly Armored Core. Oh, it's I, I played the early Armored Cores. I had them on PS1, one and two at least. Yeah. And I love those games. This game feels like Armored Core to me. As it's a, Armored Core to me, baby. As an Armored Core fan, I was worried that it would feel too FromSoft, which I also love from, FromSoft, but I don't think everything needs the FromSoft touch. No, it is a mwah, mwah. Yeah. It is a, a perfect concoction. Yeah. It, it just feels like a modern version of Armored Core. Mm -hmm. Someone wants you to not forget your Phoenix Mountain Final Fantasy XIV. I don't know what that means. Is it like a limited time dealio? I, I don't know. This is the first I've heard about it. Do you got to log in to collect your your mount? Maybe I do. I should probably look into this. Did you see the Barbie movie yet? No. God, no. We have not had basically any free time. Jacob Ex was sick for yesterday. The, the free time I was just mentioning where we were, I was playing Armored Core laying on the couch. Yeah. But like there's free time where you have enough free time to have the brain space to take in a new media. Yeah. And then you have the the free time where you don't have enough brain space to take in punching another robot with a robot yeah. to death. Yeah. It's two different free times. Yeah. Anyways, so, we should get into this game. Yeah, we should. I'm excited about this. A lot of people tweeted at me that we should play this, and I checked it out, and it looks really cool. So, I'm going to sneeze. No, you're not. <laughs> wow, you made me look, look so stupid just then. You made you look stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Only I can make me look stupid. <laughs> and I'll do it all the time. <laughs> Bless you. Uh, anyway, we're playing uh, Cosmic Wheel Sisterhood. It's new. It's vibey. It's some witchy shit. It's some tarot shit. It's going to be great. I don't know much else other than that. So. Excited to find out, find out about it a little bit. Be Me sure to unmute too. the game for the audience. Uh. Thank you. Thank you for doing that. You're welcome. Oh, just punched your pen. Okay. Got a nice little piano ballad going on. Loving the cons. I love a witch in cons. Oh yeah. That's a that's a vibe. Who's that artist? Uh, Who's that girl? Sims art, who draws all the witches, all like the stylish witches with like ghost cats. 
in like oh, cozy yeah. looking environments. Yeah. I love I love all of their art. Yeah. And Very good. This reminds me of that. Yeah. I'm gonna guess you check the settings. Yeah, there's like not any. There's content warning. Oh well we should click that, I guess. There oh you go. no. Oh, <laughs> oh god. Oh no. Oh gee oh no. Not crude language. Oh no, there's all sorts of warnings here. Jesus Christ. Well. Alright, maybe um Maybe you know. we go back to Kentucky Root. <laughs> <laughs> maybe check into it. Maybe check into it. Oh, uh, I didn't look into it. Uh, we'll put up we'll put up the the content warning on the screen to make sure people can look into it. Anyways, it did say this was mature, a mature game. Boink. When I when I went to to do it on Twitch. Listen, we might not even get to any of this stuff tonight. It's true. We're just like taking a preview of the game. I want everyone to know that nudity, someone tweeted at me with a, and they were doing their due diligence, which I super appreciate. So this is not a knock on them. Someone tweeted at me saying that they wanted to warn us that there's unavoidable nudity and they included a screenshot of it. And it's like the most pixelated ass I've it's ever like seen. It's like the most cartoon ass ass. <laughs> It's, it's a real cartoon ass ass. It's really good. And I was like, we've drawn more graphic asses on Drawfee than, yeah. than this ass. So I think it's fine. I think it's fine. Anyway. Um, the the freaking uh, dwarf, the gnome. The gnome, The gnome yes. is more nudity than, yeah. than this. All right, well. What? Let's get into it. <laughs> oh, yeah, let's go. She's doing magic. Do you want to read this? Or you want me to read this? Eternal void, heed the words of a prisoner. I beg of you, send me a curse to break this immortal isolation. Hear the chant my mentor once forbid me to recite. S, S, S. <laughs> S, S, S. Stranger to my soul, invade my body. Stranger to my soul, invade my mind. Grant me an eye to see beyond my torment. Take my pride, take my sorrow, my chains. Take my love, take my land. Take me where I cannot stand. <laughs> Turn them into power, wisdom, revenge. No, it's supposed to be power, wisdom, and courage. That's the Triforce. Oh, triforce. Revenge is not on the Triforce. Stranger to my soul, invade my magic. Stranger to my soul, become my faith. Uh, is this a different thing? I think it's a different thing. Do That's you a beautiful be the... song. It feels great to be awakened again. Hmm. Who are you? Whoa! Oh! That's literally fucking Astel, firstborn of the void from Elden Ring. Oh, Fortuna. My name is Fortuna. I am a witch. Oh, no, that was you. Oh. You say it. Uh, I'm a... Hey, hey, I'm a witch, yeah, I'm Fortuna. Why did you summon me? Because I would rather lose my pride than my sanity. Sounds fun, tell me more. I was condemned to exile by the leader of my coven. Today marks the 200th year of my millennium long sentence. Damn, that's brutal. Yeah, damn. And I can't take it anymore. I need your help. What do you use as a clock? Humanity's cradle, planet Earth. You should just use a clock. <laughs> I was asking, like, do you prefer a time? Do you like a watch or or a fossil or even a baby G? I would have accepted a baby G. Do you have one of those cool dragon watches where the dragon breathes fire? <laughs> even pocket watch. I would love any one of those, but you had to go and say some cryptic ass shit. Oh, 200 human years. That's quite some time. I feel you. I had been in prison for 5,402 years until you summoned me. So it kind of makes yours seem a little silly, doesn't um, it? Whose suffering is worse here? Just want to say. And I could have been, I could have done more time. I, I was I'm fine. doing just fine. So... Isolation can really do a number on you. I will help you. I started off with just a normal set of arms, but, you know, <laughs> 5,000 years later, here we are. 
I shall become your familiar. Thank you, Abramar. Now get comfortable. We are going to seal a contract. I need to read all the terms and conditions first. Ooh, look at this little house. Dude, I wouldn't mind 200 years in this house. It's pretty good. Well, I, we say that, but we like lost our minds during COVID in this place. Yeah, but <laughs> I could do 200 years. There's no outdoor space. She got windows that look out into the universe. First of all, allow me to express my gratitude. I really am thankful you freed me from my cosmic prison. Um, of course, you are welcome. Is something the matter? Not really, it's just that after all that reading I did about Thomas, I didn't- Behemoths? Behemoths? Behemoths. Behemoths? Not Bahamut. Bahamut? I love Final Fantasy, yo. Bahamut's not in this. Yet. Not really, it's just that after reading- <laughs> You can do it, you can do it. Not really, it's just that after all the reading I did about Behemoths, I didn't expect your behavior to be so mundane. You might need to turn it down a bit, the music. I don't want to. Can you put it down to negative 10? That... You're, you're so far down. You're so far down. I just wanted it at negative 10. Thank you. I was reading the negatives here, so I was confused. I was like, you want me to put this all the way up there? Whoa, mundane, that hurt. Oh, mm, I mean, you're still intimidating, but I always pictured you speaking in archaic poetry or something like that. It's <laughs> a really good face. I like you. I like you so much, I'm going to let you pick the terms of our contract. You will still have to pay a high price for my magic, though. I'm well aware of that. I won't back off. All right, then let's begin your training. The ceremony is five days long. Let me know when you're ready to begin. Right now. <laughs> you are already my favorite master. The first day is the easiest one. An interview so we can get to know each other. Okay. Admittance. You want to look at my dating profile? Tell me about yourself. What is your specialty? Um, reading too into the tones that people use when they're talking to me. That's not a specialty, I wouldn't say. <laughs> I am a fortune teller. Oh, one of my favorites. Would you mind doing a reading for me? I can't. As part of my sentence, Idana banished my tarot deck. Idana is the leader of my coven. Wow, you must have done something really grave to get exiled and deprived of your magic. I... I foretold the falling of my coven. Damn, are we Bruno? Yeah, you Brunoed yourself. We got Brunoed! Bleak, but how are your visions your fault? After my premonition, the coven was consumed by despair. Many witches came to me for counsel to prepare before the end times. It didn't... It didn't... Hey, Dana! Hey! Hey, Dana! Dana. Get over here! <laughs> Shit's about to go down! The coven's fucked! <laughs> <laughs> Get in the truck! We're getting out of here! We're getting out of here! It sucks! Adana didn't like that. She holds supreme authority in our coven, so she decided to exile me to this wandering asteroid. Our leader determined that even if all the covens must fall eventually, Advertising their demise only pushes a catastrophe forward. Idana decided my power posed a greater threat to the peace inside our coven. She concluded that I had to learn to reason instead of relying exclusively on my gift. So I was sentenced to mediate. <laughs> okay, so I can tell you both have a lot of anger. <laughs> And I just want you each to express how you're feeling to one another. So I was sentenced to meditate for a millennium, deprived of my deck. Since I'm here, I deduce that you don't agree with your leader's judgment. She was afraid of my influence. Many of our sisters put their trust in my advice. I'm sure that hag thought I was undermining her supremacy and decided to cast me out. 
You sure sound sour about it. Would you kill her should you have the chance? Nah. Nah. Isolation didn't eat away your mercy yet, I see. Okay, I will help you recover your powers. Will you get me a new tarot deck? Can you make it, like, cute? Tarot? Pfft, no. I mean, tarot is cute, but it is too human-centric to grasp the hidden truths of the cosmos. Me, when I write a tarot deck into Draw Detectives, but I can't learn tarot because I just don't understand what the hell I'm reading. <laughs> Uh, no, this tarot is different. It's, uh, the, the, I tried to do normal no, tarot, but it was too human-centric. This one's a better tarot. Yeah, this trust one's me, not as human-centric. This one's got the hidden truths of the cosmos in it. Yep. You will create your own deck. My own deck? I wouldn't even know where to begin. Shh, shh. Leave the details to me. <laughs> We're gonna make that up as we go. That is what these five days of training are for. You're going back to which school, Fortuna? For this training, we will review the four basic elements of magic. Ass, titties. <laughs> ass, ass, and, and titties, titties. <laughs> Air, water, earth, and fire. Oh no. Don't worry, it'll be fun. Plus, you'll get to seal a contract with me for each of those energies. Now get some rest. Tomorrow, we will start with the invisible energy, air. Okay. 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 Do I have like a cat? Yeah, where's a cat? Maybe you're not allowed to have your cat in isolation. Ooh. Whoa! First day of school, are you nervous? To be honest, I'm just happy to be able to hear something outside of my own voice. Huh, <laughs> that's cool. Today we're going to talk about air. I'm going to focus on what would be useful for creating our own divination deck. Understood. Air represents the invisible, the negative space, that which, that which imbues everything. Air is the collective subconscious, energy within a community, the ecosystem. Air is everything that surrounds us. Air is... Context. Exactly. Master your air and you will require... You... You? If you master... Your air? Oh, your air? My, yeah, mine. If you master that, you will acquire unparalleled awareness. Damn! Yeah. There's power in knowing one's place. Even when isolated, you are one with the cosmos. Now, for the first part of our contract, we will seal our air energies together. Yes, please. As I promised, I will let you decide the nature of every seal. You just need to answer a question. But careful, your answers will affect your fate dramatically. I'm ready. For the air seal, how do you want to be perceived? Uh, I don't. Feared, uh, well definitely not pitied. That one sucks. I don't want to be feared. Let's be adored. Let's be adored, that sounds great. Love me, love me, say that you love me. I want to be adored. Ready for an ego trip, eh? I'm on board. Inspiring adoration will allow you to gather support from many. But be careful you don't get overthrown by your idol persona. Uh, yeah, but here's the thing, they'll never see it coming. Allow me to seal our air energies together then. I did it. <laughs> Easy peasy. Ugh, I hurt. That felt good. Can't you feel the power? Yes, I feel it, but I also felt like I was tearing apart. Well, girl, I am a behemoth after all. What did you expect? I know, I know. I can take it. Good. Now focus <laughs> on that bit of air energy we unlocked. We're going to use it to create our first card. I notice you have a ceremonial tokonoma for witchcraft in the basement. Head over there and I will teach you to create cards. And before we do that, ads. We should run some ads, 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 ads. Ads, 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 ads. Ads, 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 ads. 
And while the ads are running, I have to go get our laundry from the basement. I'll read subs. So Julia can read the subs. Good luck, everybody. I believe in I'm you. I'm so bad at this. When I get back, everyone tell me Julia did a great job reading the ads. It sure won't be. Well, the first sub we got is Males Hails. I can't keep that energy up for the whole thing. Show hog. Lodgin Felkson. Arthamancy, a fire up the ace. Tobasco Cat, Dumbass Gremlin, the Mr. Crowley, Dance a Daisy, Snow Jay 425, Erica, oh no. Orange Peel Pith, oh my goodness, this mouse is going nuts. Zero Coatser, zero. Pizza Weasel, Transcoder, Graham Rameron Ding Dong. Pretty ghost boy. Maximum cowboy. Kiwi. Gabby Gadget. Super Bedwords. Love sick rated us. Thank you. Throne five. Suave peanut. And there will be bu. Stygiax. Badger jaw. The symbiote. Jevidev? Chevidev? Zevidev? That's all I got. Star kindled. Narrow wind. Oreo burglar. Professor Rad. Code named blueprint. Todd from Mario. Bubble blowing bumblebee. Chatelain Chandelure. Resident Goblin. Clown MP3. Kekis and the new name. Just Renee. Star kindled. Again, Void Soup, Mechatrans Rigs, Badger Jaw, Complete Stranger, Pedro VPW, Toasted Oats 42, Squishy June Bug, Junt, yeah, The Kit 10666, 12 Cats in a Dressing Go, Dressing Gown, 12 Cats in a Dressing Gown. <laughs> It broke up gown. <laughs> uh, Sexalia Di Rolo, Jane six six six, Sturgeon Bay, Sir Liberian, Fallen Sprite, Thryron, Blue Rasmic Chicken, Snorted. Oh my god, there's so many subs coming in. Y'all are giving me more work. Although I appreciate it. No Perking Tuesday 1. Under Wonder Fun Under Watcher Fun Gay Party. Uh Mo Moss Hysteria. Gremlin Gremlin Girlfriend. My mistake. My nose is itchy. That's just a real fact, not a name. Himbo writes. Seta Jupta. Whaleyan. Willie Ann, more art than time. August lesbian author um, amalgam. I am Beth. Redwood seas. Dear man, give fast. Deadly kitten four o four. Oh my God, it's them. Hooker queen. Eldritch floof. Oh well, it's Noel. Uh, Bradinator 1, Jax Carrion, Hagnat, Hat, Hatnat, Pyropia, 1, 2, 3, Punchy McGee, A Silly Momo, Velvet as Mom, Stitchifer, August Lesbian, Dark Matter Builder Plays, uh, Mank the Destroyer, Little Miss Green Bean, uh, Liz Array, uh, C Scotch 17, Gradient Jump Scare, Walter Mitty, Your Clairvoyant Friend, Saralon D13, Unicycle Hippo, that's as far as it went back, 
I apologize to everyone. We got so many subs, Jacob. Y'all subbing over here? Friggin' blue. Rune Factress. Amalthia. How would you say this, Jacob? I would say Amalthia. Amalthia. Uh, Yurtgert, Sass Raptor. Not the Messiah. Andromeda Galaxy Cat. Rando, 79. Dirk and Stormy Night, uh, Possumatic, Electric Lake, Mix Morganic, Tonka Tough, Badonka Donk, Tango for Candy Bat, Kitsuniris, Phantom, Phanto, Phantomith. That's Phantom Theory. Phantom Theory, Catatonic Goat, Augie Froggy, Augie Froggy again, Nine Binary Robot, I Require Coffee, Hazy Twilight, Peachy Jean, Jark, Jack Santos, uh, Kate Dice, uh, Cosmic Frogster, Ancient Asparagus, The Lichling, Electric Seas, Starling 5683, Mel's Hells. Mel's Hells is what we started with. Okay. Mel's Hells. Mel's Hells. Sir HC Ventu. Arty Art Fart. The Lord of Spoons gave out 50 subs. Oh my God. Good Lord. Um, okay. And then Marliana. We did it. Oh. Yeah. 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 Great job, Julia. Thank you. Good job, Julia. No one ever makes a good job, Julia button for me. Good job, Julia. Thanks, Jacob. You ready? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Back to game. All right, we're going downstairs. We're you going down. You gotta go down to your freaking, uh, I think you just probably click on the door. Oh. Uh. I was like clicking everywhere but the door. Ain't that just the way? We're playing a lot of Baldur's Gate, so you know. Create card. This is the arcane grimoire. Here you'll acquire magic images that can be used to craft your cards. There are three types. Spheres for the backgrounds. Arcana for the main figure on the card and symbols to add some magic pizzazz to your compositions. <laughs> okay. They all cost magic energy to summon. Right now, you can only acquire air-type elements because we've only unlocked the air seal. But you can go ahead and browse the grimoire to savor your future creations. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. Uh, okay, well, we have to pick the opera. House. Well, can, can you arrow to the right down at the bottom there? Oh! Okay. But we have to use the air energy. Which is this one, right? Yeah. Are there any others that, that take that? This? Oh, Ple Pleasant Pueli. Pleasant Pueli. Games. Videos. The Pleasant Pueli. The road. <laughs> <laughs> the road back is lethal. The road ahead is unknown. Nomad Sky Caravan. Damn. That's pretty sick. The best merchants of their galaxy. They couldn't figure out how to travel through space, so they tore away a piece of their homeland skies and took it with them. A blue nebula full of flying ships that soar the Milky Way. Magical post office. I do love the magical post office as a thing. Well. A magic forest realm inside the folds of time, only accessible by witches familiars. The magical post office is the quickest way to send letters and parcels to one witch dominion to another. Witches favor this method of communication because there is no known way to tamper with it. Love that. Oh, I was going to suggest that we use, did a two cost one instead of a three cost one. Hey, I'm making the effort to explain to you how card creation works. Don't be rude and soldier on. No, I want to go back a step though. I think, I think we're in it now. Happy Herald! 
Happy Harold. Hey, it's me. Happy Harold. Oh, I'm so happy to be here. Okay. The shaman. shaman? And he just straight up. No. Okay. So we only got a couple options. We got Happy Harold. Harpy Harold. Happy Harold. Happy Harold. So happy. <laughs> I legitimately didn't read it as Harpy the whole time. I thought it was happy. <laughs> All right. I Is think... this the shaman or Happy Harold? Let's go with Happy Harold. Okay. Okay. And then we can get something that cost wind, like the onyx trumpet. Happy oh. Harold and the onyx trumpet. <laughs> That's pretty good. The most incredible young adult fantasy novel. Aether wings. Aether wings. I've heard of chicken wings, but I've never Wait. heard of aether wings. Our bitter book. Our bitter book. Dark matter bow. So, I'm kind of feeling like... Onyx trumpet. A herald should have a trumpet. All right. How you're, is he going to herald? You're correct. You're correct. Happily. Oh, this looks great. <laughs> <laughs> this composition. No notes. You can move the background and drag, rotate, or scale the images around. Add as many images as you want from the stock at the sides of the card. Don't worry. It won't cost you extra energy. Put your soul into it. I think you got it in one, dude. This looks great. <laughs> you nailed it, man. Uh-huh. Oh, we got like layers, access yeah, to some layers. Yeah, we got some layers. Let's bring this one forward. Can I like... Yeah, yeah. Oh, you can scale it and rotate it. You know what? My, we. That's got to be on there, I think, somewhere. I want like a maybe a letter. Where's the trumpet? That oh, was behind her hair. Okay, hold on. Let's let's bring it forward. Let's get the let's get this out of here. She got to be rooting and and tooting and by God, be shooting. Okay, we gotta line up. Notes out of that trip. Look at her fingers, they're like she's playing. I know. She's got it up in her notes. <laughs> <laughs> this is how Happy Harold plays it. It's a little different. There we go. Oh. Let's make her smaller. I feel like she's too big. Hi there, face here. Kinda hard to click on a damn trumpet. That's a tiny trumpet. She's a tiny person. Bigger? Happy Herald, tiny trumpet. Happy Herald, tiny trumpet. Mother. What do you think is going to happen when you do that? That's a toot out of the trumpet. That's a toot. <laughs> you sure about that? Out of her butt. Yeah. A little, a little booty tooty. A little booty tooty. Booty tooty, fresh and fruity. I don't fruity. really like how that one works. Let's, uh, let's throw that one out. Let's uh let's throw that one out. Let's um we'll use it. It can be a trumpet tootie. Okay, in the background. I'm flying! <laughs> How's that? That's pretty good. Yeah. Can we scale the background at all? I I was wondering this myself. Or can we only move move about on the background? If you I, like, can you click like the edges of the um, of the little square in the top right? Like, do those let you do anything? No. No. She emerges from her portal to give you the toot toot. A little tooty tooty. A little tooty tooty. 
I want to scale. I want to scale the background. Yeah, you can't apparently. That's what chat says. Oh, my life is so hard. Oh, and then we can do this. Ready? You ready for this shit? Ah, uh, get knocked down. Why is it still in front of her head then? There we go. I've got a thing. Whenever anyone says my life, it reminds me of when I was a teen, me and my friends made a fake band called Blood Fart. Okay. And um, we just tried to write like the most over the top uh, lyrics we could think of. Uh huh. And one of the ones we had was, my life is a pool of festering hate blood. And so whenever I hear my life, I think of my friend Steven going, my life. It's a pool of festering hate blood. So you don't want your life to be like that. I was thinking of it going to like a country. Mala is a pool of fashion and hate blood. <laughs> no, it wasn't country. You know, like it was sort of like. Um, what's that band? Not King Crimson, but I think it had King in the name where the guy sings really, really high. King Gizzard and the Loser Wizard. I, I would know if it was them. <laughs> <laughs> Someone in chat will know what I'm talking about. And they have the song where he's like, Grandma, what was it like? King Harvest, Kings of Leon. Grandma, what was it like? King, King Diamond. Diamond, that's the one. Yeah, thank you. I'm gonna continue with this card. Yeah, sorry, you never had to stop. Oh. Whoa. The meaning of a card varies depending on which elements you combine. Oh, okay. So the magical post office controls the flux of information, a strong avatar for justice imbued with purpose. The sound from the trumpet garners everyone's attention. A hurricane of air energy will stir luck and call for the unexpected. The meanings are leadership, purpose, justice, predestination, luck. Predestination is like when you tell Uber where you want to go. Yeah, you t type it in ahead of time. Yeah. Well, that seems great. Love that. Air elements lean toward relationships, community, and karma. Pay attention to your studies so you can tune your divination style towards the ideas that you fancy the most. It can be tricky at the beginning. The only way to master this is through experience. Okay. Let me it, just click that... back now. I didn't know if that would like undo my whole. Uh, it doesn't. <laughs> Did you like it? Please leave a review on Steam. You likey? You likey? Looks promising. Feels way more complicated than the tarot, but I can sense its potential. Good. We're only getting started. It will all make more sense when you try your hand at reading them. We'll wait until you've made at least two cards, though. It's going to be a pretty predictable yeah. <laughs> tarot deck. There's not a lot of predestination in shuffling a single card. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, you must be tired, or else you would have laughed at my joke. <laughs> <laughs> Go to bed and review the fundamentals of air. Tomorrow we will unlock your water. Pee-pee <laughs> time. Time to pee-pee. Thank you, Abramar. Thanks to you, Fortuna. I will make you happy, I promise. Good night. Good night. Good night. Uh, good night. Sorry, good I didn't mean to say it at the same time. Good, good night. Good night. He is not made of stardust. He can grant you power, but will not understand your heart. Lesson three. Emotion. Emotions. The only lyric I know is emotions. Dream about me. <laughs> oh, Fortuna, each day me cometh to teach us thee. <laughs> <laughs> me when I call Jacob over for a tech problem. 
And I say, oh, each day me cometh to teach us to thee. <laughs> <laughs> For breatheth, breatheth, <laughs> fuck you, man. <laughs> Fans dweep! Fans, Fans dweep! For briefeth is the cosmos and eternal thy griefeth. <laughs> we wouldn't be able to move on from this fucking slide if I voiced this person. <laughs> me cometh. stuck forever. <laughs> Each day me cometh. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I thought I could get more in character to satisfy your expectations. And rather focus on our studies. Oh, cometh on. You're not the only one excited about being able to talk to somebody after eternal imprisonment. Loosen up a bit. Oh, leaf familiar. Sweet. Charm art we studying today. What? <laughs> Colors me art thee well. <laughs> stop, stop. I give up. Now come here and teach me your magic. Phew. Even joking around doesn't stop you from being intense. Okay, focus, Abramar. Let's begin today's lesson. The second element we will unlock is water. Water represents substance, meaning the hidden nature of things. Water comes in many shapes, purpose, desire, willpower. Pee pee. Pee pee, poo poo, sometimes. <laughs> Depending on what you <laughs> ate that day. Water is everything that lives inside of you. Water is... Emotion. Emotion! <laughs> Dream about me! <laughs> <laughs> That's a good synthesis, yes. Master your water. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's you what my have, urologist You will too. have the key to any heart and soul. The lie I've never been to a urologist. There's power in empathy and self-awareness. Water isn't my forte, but I understand. Yeah, I noticed that. But don't worry, I am here to support you. Now for the second part of our contract, we will seal our water energies together. Yes, please. Again, you decide the nature of our contract. Answer this question. And remember, your answers will affect your fate dramatically. Okay. I know, I know. For the water seal, what is your innermost desire? Power, romance, or knowledge? I feel like I don't want power. We don't want to be like a tyrant. No. I feel like it's got to be knowledge, right? Or is it romance? I'm trying to answer is me here. I feel like romance is fleeting, but knowledge is forever. You know what I'm saying? Jacob's saying that we're going to get a divorce. Knowledge. But we'll know forever <laughs> that we got a divorce. <laughs> 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 Romance is fleeting, the man says to his wife. <laughs> oh, God. Knowledge. Oh, knowledge. That's not a common desire. But it makes sense. Enlightenment is a mighty resource for a witch. Can't wait to see what you'll make of new knowledge. Although, be careful not to stumble onto one of those cosmic truths that are better left unknown. Don't want my favorite witch to lose her mind. Now. I have a question. Mm -hmm. When will all the contracts we've been sealing become effective? Immediately. I mean, they are etched into the cosmic wheel as we speak. Is that it? What? Uh, name of the game. The cosmic wheel! The cosmic wheel! That's the name of the game! Oh! <laughs> Soon we need sisterhoods. We could be sisters together. In time, it'll all come to you. And you will be pretty aware of the moment they're delivered. I see. I can tell you one thing for sure. They'll come in the same order we sealed them. First, you will get your adoration. You'll notice how people idolize you. Oh, I don't want that. Sometime after, you'll discover a new source of knowledge. Then whatever we seal on your earth will happen. And finally, in the distant future, you'll pay the price we agreed on on the fire seal. Price, huh? Everything you've asked for will come at a price.
I guess your summoning spell is forbidden for a reason, huh? Having second thoughts? Sorry, there's like a clapping noise in the background of the song. Yeah. And uh, I imagine someone from Catfish is slowly walking up to our house, <laughs> doing a slow clap. Yeah. <clears throat> anyway, no. I need this. Seal the second contract already. Brace yourself. <laughs> My bones. Woohoo! Girl, you have power. I just hope this torture is worth it. It will be, have faith. Can I make a new card now? Yes, same as yesterday. Head to the basement. Okie dokie. Girl, you have power. <laughs> Those sleeves have to be annoying when you like go to eat. Just getting in that little shit. Yeah. Long sleeves. But if you're a witch, you probably don't have to ever touch anything. That's true. So. All right, we need some bluebies. Walter. We got Javalana Payash Jothi. Good reading. During the last war before the Age of Witches, the ancients pierced these lands so deep, the planet is always bleeding lava. First witches tried to heal this dominion by covering it with the tears of water deities. Damn. The waters of... Javalana Payash Jothi. Are forever, are forever boiling. Rituals performed using salt from these waters grant access to the most profound emotions. You have to say it kind of like a Swedish accent for some reason. Oh, okay. That's what I've established. All right. A shipwreck library. Love that. Oh, that's some Julia shit right Come there. on. The home of water deity that collects every letter that was ever, that was never sent or never got to its destination. Damn it, I love that. Gonna have a male-centric deck yeah witches can purchase this lost knowledge in exchange for unedited poems or beautiful shells oh what sorry sunset docks <laughs> a humble wooden dock cursed by a heartbroken witch damn i love that too though the legends say that anyone who parts ways with someone and sails away from this dock will never meet the one they left behind again damn damn some of us could probably use that <laughs> yeah me when we get a divorce because you said <laughs> romance is fleeting I'll push you off. I feel like if you lived forever, romance would be more fleeting than knowledge would be. Like romance comes and goes, you know what I mean? Like you have it sometimes, you don't have it other times. Yeah, but sometimes I'm fucking stupid. What does that mean? So knowledge comes and goes too. Well, no, once you obtain the knowledge, you keep the knowledge, and then you get more knowledge later. I took four years of Spanish class. You know what word I retained? Pantaloons. <laughs> that's not even it. I, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I going think, with the library. I think what I've said makes plenty of sense. Wolf mother and children. <laughs> A behemoth born from the erratic retelling of a popular fable. Every time a witch tells a story, the seed of knowledge absorbs the set sediments of her words. When a tale is narrated enough times, a minor behemoth will appear. The wolf mother now wanders the cosmos, adopting orphaned magical creatures. That's I am cute. literally a minor behemoth. Please do not engage with me. Excuse me, Duchess of Solace. Okay. Damn. A dominatrix. Oh, I love this. I love everything that's going on here. Yeah. There's something I really like about the layout of these because like they're just elements you put on your card. Yeah. So <clears throat> it like feels like one of those old like dress those paper dress up dolls that you get where you like yes, punch them out. Yeah, I agree. Forbidden door to pleasure. Let's go. Damn, is that lady in there? No one's ever dared to go through it. <laughs> Once a young witch looked through its keyhole and fell victim to a seven year long orgasm. What the hell? Addicted, she went back to look again, but this time she exploded into red dust. Damn. Every day she cometh. That's um seven year long orgasm without stopping sounds 
Like, how do you accomplish anything else? Well, I feel like after like the first day, you probably just get used to it and like go about your business while just like orgasming all the time. But that seems like it would also suck. Yeah. You just no, it wouldn't be great. It? I wouldn't like it. Bartender. Bartender. Your finest drinks, please, bartender. All right. I feel like Wolf Mother is my leaning. I do like Wolf Mother, so let's go with her. Wolf Mother and Children. All right, so now the the You remember that Wolf Mother song? Woman, she got to be a woman. She got the feeling of love. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that song. Remember Wolf Mother, everyone? Bottomless jug. Its contents are sour because it pours the unshed tears of the dead. It's interesting. Glass trident. They say it only makes traitors bleed. There's only one, and it has been lost since they used it in the trial that got Adana expelled from her former co coven. Well, well, well. Glass trident's kind of cool. But that's a character, that Adana. Yeah. That's your like coven leader that kicked you out, right? Yeah. Then she got expelled. Ho, ho, from ho. her former coven. So you think she would be? You know, more yeah. understanding. Swordfish liquor. One glass will make you happy. Two glasses will make you horny. Three glasses will make you honest. Ain't that just the way? I like to live my life by the three H's. Happy, horny, and honest. <laughs> it's a good way to live, Jacob. Very mirror. A mirror that only shows the reflection of its owner. You can't lie while looking at it. So witches use it to find out if they are fooling themselves. It happens quite often. That's fun. It's no cat eyes. No cat eyes. The eyes of cat from the crystal nebula dimension. If you seal the eye of a snow cat in a glass doll, it'll come to life and protect you until it shatters. They're extremely fragile and extremely dangerous. Wow. Okay, so we have the jug, Tears of the Dead. I'm thinking I like the glass, glass trident, trident, but I don't know if I want the trident to be around all those little minor behemoths. That's true. But they shouldn't have swordfish liquor either. Yeah, they're literally miners. Yeah. Maybe they should have the... I mean, the mirror we could do, or we could do the the snow cat eyes. We could put those little wigs on top of some of the <laughs> wolves. If you seal the eye of snow cat, yeah, but then we have to get an eye of the snow cat. And yeah, they're right there. there. They're right there. We already got them. All right, I like the snow cat. Let's let's go with it. Ooh, love the bottles. Hey. I liked her being on like the beach. I thought that was nice. Oh, that's kind of a good. Oh, she's so far away. Maybe we put her like off center, like to the right. Like we put her. Well, that's a little too far, you know, like rule of thirds over here. Yeah, but then we got the sun. I don't want to block the sun. What if she's silhouetted by the sun? You know what I'm saying? And we got to put a wig on one of these babies. Look at all these little doggies and sheepies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is looking so nice. Okay, wait, what about on this one? Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's the stuff right there. Yeah, we shrink that down, put it on a rock. Send it back in space. Make it a little bit smaller. 
<laughs> I see you. Oh, we already have that one. Get the red eye. Starring Killian Murphy. And his pen he loved so much. He loved and it so Jennifer much. Jennifer Garner. That wasn't her, was it? Was it? No, was it not Jennifer Garner? No, it was that lady. It was, um, oh my God. She was in a lot of things. She was in The Notebook. Who's the main lady in The Notebook? That lady. The lady that was in The Notebook. Jennifer Garner? Rachel McAdams. Thank you. She's the Jennifer Garner of people in The Notebook. Many people have said. <laughs> mm-hmm. And I'm inclined to agree. How do you like this? It's pretty good. Yeah? I like it. Should we make her like a little bigger? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. I like that. That's good stuff. The deity in the shipwrecked the deity in the shipwreck scrutinizes every secret. The love from the wolf mother is infinite. Woman! The glass doll and the snow cat's eyes are teeming with primal urges. A flood of water can unleash hidden potentials. Meanings. Mercy, wellness, communication, peace, power, coming of age. That all seems pretty nice. Yeah. Now, come upstairs. You're going to read the cards for me. Okay. I wonder which one you'll draw. <laughs> I love how slowly she walks around. Guess she has a lot of time. Yeah. Time for some divination. This is your area of expertise, so you guide me through this. Okay. A card reading with just two cards, huh? Hmm. We need to test if these really work, so I'll do a reading we can confirm on the spot. I'm going to read your past. Whoa, that's bold. I like it. I'm ready. <clears throat> it's been a couple of centuries without my deck. I may be a bit rusty. You just enjoy it. You're among friends here. Okay, it's going to be a very simple reading. I'm going to draw a card and place it on this spot to read into your past. Here we go. Where'd you get all those cards from? They're all blanks. Oh, a classic. Classic. Leadership, purpose, justice, predestination, luck. There was a time in which you were worshipped by a coven. Oh, we have like three options. Oh, oh, oh. And we get energy from it. Okay, well, we have no air energy right now. Yeah. But I want to go by like yeah. this and not by like maxing the game. Yeah. There was a time in which you were worshipped by a coven, or you have been tricked, tortured, or destroyed numerous times. You, you are older than the universe. What do you think? I kind of like being older than the universe. It's kinda cool. Yeah. Gets us air too. You, you are older than this universe. Wow, these cards pierce deep. I wasn't expecting you to get such a revelation in your first draw. I'm proud of you. Thank you. What does this mean? How can anyone precede the Big Bang? Hmm, this is a hard one to explain through language. You know that the universe is expanding, right? Right. Well, the universe expands over something. Or I should say over nothing. I don't know how to put this into any words you know. But basically I existed before this universe. At some point the universe you live in grew around me and I was subjected to its rules. Before we are captured by a universe, behemoths live without shape, without mass, without time. Are there other universes besides this one then? Yes. What are they like? Unfathomable by any language or code developed within this universe's rules. Uh, 
Don't think too much about it or you will lose your mind. In any case, this extra universal nature is where my power comes from. Magic is but an extensive understanding of how reality works. I... Uh... Wow. Let's get back to your training. Wow, what was that? Felt an en energy surge. That is your deck harvesting energy. Whenever you do a reading, you'll harvest magic akin to the card you drew. Fortune telling will be your main source of energy once we seal our pact. Let's see. All right, the cards work. They work like a charm, I must say. You're a gifted fortune teller, my friend. Thank you. Really miss this. I almost forgot how exciting it is to dig into the secrets of the cosmic wheel. I'm so happy for you. And I am so thankful, Abramar. <laughs> We're just getting started. Now go get some rest. Tomorrow we'll make another card and do some more divination. Looking forward to it. Good night. Good night. <laughs> Abramar has been betrayed many times in the past. What do you plan to do with him? We wouldn't betray our buddy Abramar. We got one friend in this world. Yeah. Oh, Miss Aliyev. Yeah, I got Miss Aliyev. I didn't expect her to stay. Today's lesson is about Earth. This is a powerful one. Aren't the other ones powerful as well? Well, of course. But this one is pure potential. Literally power. Okay, okay. Glad to see you excited. Let's begin the lesson, please. Okay, Earth, Earth, how can I sum it up? Earth represents determination, empowerment, everything that pushes you forward. Earth is grounding, support, the source, but also direction of your force. Earth is your drive. Earth is... Strength. That's it. But bear in mind that it doesn't only refer to your own capabilities, but also to the support of your allies. To master one's earth is to be aware of where to look for potential, not to be drunk on one's power. Motherly love, loyalty, sisterhood, that's in the name of the game, by the way. Those are also forms of earth energy. I understand. Now for the third part of our contract, we will seal our earth energies together. Lay the question on me. Remember, your answers will affect your fate dramatically. For the earth seal, what do you want to become your main source of determination? So there's love, the support of my friends, conquest, defeating my rivals, or myself, personal growth and self-realization. Myself. You want to get that, that P growth? Yeah. Go for it. Myself, personal growth and self-realization. The lone wolf, huh? It's the safest position to rely on yourself, coward. <laughs> I just hope you never break down or your willpower will shatter. And there will be no one able to pick up the pieces. It's okay. I've come this far by myself. I got myself exiled and everything. It was great. You sure look strong. I'll concede that. Very well. <laughs> Olive. <laughs> Olive's laying on the soundboard again. Now I will seal our earth energies together. Get ready. Ugh. The power! I love Earth contracts. Oh, I was vomited with this one. Yes, Earth has a lot of presence. I've seen other witches puke right after sealing it. One of the tough ones, then. Oh, you bet you are. You have been the first one not to cry during the ceremony. Although we still have fire to seal, that one is painful even to me. Oh, no. You can do this. Only one to go. Now to the fun part. Let's make a card. Step, 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 step. <laughs> Don't poke her. <laughs> Look at how you've upset her. I did upset her. All right. We need that earth. That earth. Earth. Moonstone temple. Moonstone temple. Before magical enslavement was forbidden, the long lost coven of the Jade Sculptors tasked seven major demons with carving a gigantic temple out of the moon. 
The unspeakable dimensions of the temple make the witches who study inside its walls aware of their insignificance within the universe and enhances their powers through humility. That's cool. Not the slave part, but you know, the rest of it. Titan quarry. Titan quarry. Titans are said to be able to mine a planet the size of Earth in less than 50 years. Their kind is unable to hurt a soul, so they only mine asteroids or planets that are unable to sustain life. No one knows what they use the mined materials for. They are happy to share their ore if you ask them with respect. I guess we can do combo ones now, too. That's true. Ones that are like some earth and something else. Yeah. We don't have any fire yet. No. But we could do that blue one, the hundred column worship. Inside the Warhorse Nebula, there's a passage to a non-Euclidean canyon filled with a hundred obsidian towers. No witch knows who erected them. If you climb onto a tower, you can see versions of yourself looking back at you from the many windows of the rest of the towers are they the ones being or are they the ones being watched love that yeah that's a fun one that's cryptic as hell we also got the gem skull belt uh less than a century ago the architect witch griffy carved 13 skull shaped rooms out of an asteroid belt all connected by ivory walk bridges the rumors say these chambers turn a witch's words into energy and allow them to communicate with extra-dimensional mm -hmm. beings. I mean, I say we do that one. The towers. Hundred I column love, worship. I love this, yes. Yeah. Great. Uh, okay. The dragon. The dragon. Born from the imagination of mortals and extinct because of their greed, dragons were known for keeping treasures and grudges. Damn, I'm I was about to say, dragon, just like you. Just like me. You keep treasures and grudges. I love treasures. Oh my god, it's you. Oh, yo, look at this fucking guy. The last coyote gunslinger. <laughs> what the hell? It's the sickest shit I've ever seen. The last coyote gunslinger out to hunt the scions of the purple blood behemoth throughout the vast cosmos yeah she feeds on their blood and extends her life to prolong her never-ending vengeance yeah she does she's got a damn dirt bike i love that for her deer folk paladin guardians of the sick. deer folk witch coven just like humans male deer folk can't become witches unlike humans male deer folk male deer folk that's a male, male deer folk aren't blind to magic and they give their lives to the service of their coven to protect knowledge and hunt traitors. The hell is it me? Oh my god, Julia's in this game. As a guy. <laughs> so, so we can do pilot from the Machina cult. The coven of the Machina cult erected these steel golems according to the instructions detailed in their scriptures that the Bildum automata handed to her coven after returning from a 70 year long trip into a black hole we can also do the gold blower <laughs> <laughs> one of the artisans a minor god who crafts blessed jars water poured from an amphora blown what's an amphora i guess an amphora is the stick Probably. Water poured from an amphora blown by the glass blower will make fruit grow out of dead soil. I think the amphora is what he makes. Oh, that's thing? And then it gets filled with water, and then you, if you pour water out of it, oh, okay. it makes fruit grow. Wine poured from a gold vase will make mortals find love. Tea poured from the gold kettle will inspire witches to write new spells. Cool. Uh, what else can we afford? The dragon, of course. Trying to think of like what goes well with our thing we got. The dragon would probably go pretty well with the towers. I do like the dragon. I think the dragon might be my favorite so far. Because there's the harvest oracle as well. So just... Doesn't really fit with the no. setting. This, not so much either. 
It's the for me. It's the dragon or the mech suit. Oh my god! It's the butt. No. Oh, I guess we could do the seat. Oh, that's the butt we were talking about. No, TOS. Nobody TOS. look. Nobody look. Adult themes. There's a butt. What do you think, dragon or mech suit? Dragon. Dragon, Yug. Go dragon. Uh, golden shovel, the last bladed tool forged by the gold blower. The golden shovel is hollow, so you can feel the energy resonates. Uh, resonates of the earth while you dig. Sorry, that was. Cane of sacred wood. Eh. You skipped one we could do. You skipped two we could do. Huh? It'll say select if we can do them. Well, yeah, but I'm focusing on air. I'm choosing ones that have air elements. Oh, you mean earth? Earth. Uh, earth, yeah, sorry. And this doesn't have any earth. But we don't have to. Yeah, but like... Okay. It's predominantly earth. Okay. 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 <laughs> get off my... Get, get off, off my... Get off my... Get off my... Mr. Romance is fleeting. Obsidian sledgehammer. Sledgehammer! Bolts fixed to the earth by an obsidian sledgehammer are impossible to remove unless you recite the words carved into the hammer's head. They often used to trap demons or set up camps in the wildlands. Jade Ooh, Roadkeepers. Ooh, I like that. The coven of the jade sculptors craft these little guardians to bless their roads. Whoever walks a path blessed by a jade roadkeeper will be free from thieves and predators. Eyes for the night, pain for the wraith. 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 Tower shield. It protects a warrior from their ankles to their eyes. A common piece of equipment for the Deerfolk Paladins. Well, we're not using the Deerfolk Paladins, so shut up. Iron Servant of the Forge Plate. He doesn't have anything cool going on with them, though. Alright, I think we know which one it is. Yeah. It's the one with the jade statue. Yeah, I agree. Jade statue. The jade road keepers. Yeah. All right. So. I like this. Yeah, that's good. I want like, he's gonna go right here. Right in the center. And then we'd let's just like coil that dragon all around. Right? Have that dragon going wild. Okay, so. Oh, we can have distant dragons. Let's focus on the main dragon. Uh, okay, so... Get that fucking golden pirate-ass chest out of here. I can't. Make it so small. I do hate the golden chest. Hide it behind him. <gasps> That's his little secret. That's his secret <laughs> treasure. Yeah! <laughs> okay, hold on. Eyes for the night. Paying for the wraith. Eyes mm -hmm. for the night. Paying for the rain. Oh, I can't put it behind the tower. No. What the hell am I supposed to do with it then? Just have him going all around. Noodle. We'll go like a little macaroni. A little macaroni. Can't go around like that. Uh, have him get the curvy piece. This one? Yeah. Have him curving around to the right. Yeah, but then his scales are on the wrong side. This is fine. Trust scales me. are on the wrong side. Trust me. 
You could flip it, I think. I, I did flip it. It's always on the wrong side, huh? Yeah. Yeah, but... Okay, well, then flip the dragon's head. They'll still be on the wrong side. They're not even on the wrong side because his body's twisting. No, that, that actually is messed up. Right? That, that ain't right. Like that shadow is bad. The, sh the shadow ain't right. You're going to have to flip that one. Okay, wait. If I do this, I'm going to bring this guy forward. All right, that's not bad. That's not bad. Tuck oh. it a little more under. Rotate the head a little bit. To really, really match it up. Match it up, Buttercup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay, now okay, that now, one curves yeah. it around. Yes. 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 And then... <laughs> Me. <laughs> <laughs> um, Tail. Little calamari. Oh, you're gonna have to flip it to match the shadow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then put the tail behind the statue, like it's curving around behind it. You know what I'm saying? It kind of gets a little chopped. Okay, but I think that, can we like select multiple? I think if you highlight them with the click and drag, you can. I like not, I want to deselect. All right, well, it's better to move the little guy. And then we'll move the little guy back. And his treasure, no! Don't let anyone see. There we go. All right, that's kind of sick. Put that away. Get that out of here. You don't want little doubloons? No like doubloons. No doubloons. I want little dragons in the background. Oh, little dragons. You bring up a good point. Yeah, one down there, one top left. You know composition. Sorry, wasn't letting me grab the little dragon. And I want one arm on the dragon. Wherever you want to put it. Okay, hold on. No. <laughs> my little buddy. <laughs> this is my friend. I want I want this tentacle out of here. Delete that. Delete delete that. De Put it behind him. <laughs> Put it behind him. <laughs> no one has to know. <laughs> you have <a> pet. <laughs> I like this one. This is good. This, yeah, this one's my favorite one so far. Yeah. It's um, like there's so many things look in this at the one. Freaking synergies are going crazy on this one. A presence. Consciousness of the many shelves. Shelves? Selves. <laughs> Consciousness of the many selves. There's too many shelves. <laughs> and I'm aware of it. <laughs> a symbol for a haughty guardian. The little jade statue watches over the Querent. I don't know what a querent is, so don't even ask me. Is it like a person who asks a query? Oh, it, that seems likely, doesn't it? Excessive earth energy can lead to immobility. Guardian, ego, happiness, indifference, stagnation, presence. I know I didn't put an egg. Should we Nicely pause here? Nicely done. Yeah, we can pause here because you know what time it is. Time to water Mr. Plant? Time to water Mr. Plant. You want to show off Mr. Plant? Time to, to water so Mr. Plant, today. to show Mr. Plant. 
all things Mr. Plan. Mr. Plan, Mr. Plan, Mr. Plan, Mr. Plan. Mr. Plant. Mr. Now I really want to listen to Emotion by Carly Rae Jepsen. Because of, you know, singing Emotion earlier, not because of singing Mr. Plant. You love my shirt. Thank you. It's just a black Uniqlo button up. Hi, Adi. Sorry, I put my hand over here and she was like, uh -huh, please. Someone's been watching us since they were in high school and now they're 21. That is wild. But thank you for watching us for so long. And I'm glad we could help you. I'm always glad when we can help someone. Yeah, I think I decided with Uniqlo because people are talking about some Uniqlo love in the chat. I think I decided that like Uniqlo is like the, like the, I'm trying to think of the correct way to phrase this. I'm so against stores that sell something trendy that's made cheap. And so you like wind up wearing it like twice and then it, it falls apart. Look at that hydrated Mr. Plant. So I But like Uniqlo items are so like basic that you can dress them up to be whatever you want them to be. They're and they're versatile, well made. Baby. They're versatile. Versatile. So that's like the you know, I I mean like half of my wardrobe is probably like Uniqlo and it's I've had it forever. You know? Yeah, I got a lot of Uniqlo stuff too. Yeah, so they have good staple items. And then you can get your little fancy schmancy things. You wear some staples. Yeah. And then you put on one fancy thing. Yeah. And then you're all next thing you know, you're all dressed up. Well, like I have this right, my my black button up shirt, and then I have my little necklace that that fancies it up. That fancies it up. That makes it, it up. makes it unique. And Chloe. then I have my you know my earrings that make me a little witchy and then i got my ring i don't know if this will show but please uh go back a little go back a little more there it is there it is this camera can't focus quite as uh close, close. yeah that's fine I'm still happy with this camera. I think it looks great. I also like the color grading on it. I look better than I did on the last one. Like our faces feel warmer. That's nice. Yeah. Got a little warmth. A little warmth. Yeah. Oh, Draz posted a link to the ring. Little ring link. I also don't buy clothes very often, so I try to make every clothing item I buy last. My pants that I'm wearing right now are Uniqlo. My gray slacks. Slacks. The only thing I'm wearing that isn't Uniqlo, I think, are my socks. So I got I got real nice socks in my mom. They're uh, alpaca socks. Kaz was asking what kind of camera we got. It's a Sony. A. A500. Five, 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 Sony A. Sony A5100. 5100. Sony A5100. That's what it is. Not the A6000, it's an A5100. It's a little guy. Yeah, it's real itty bitty. Yeah. That you can change the lenses on, but the camera itself is like- Very small. This big. And about that deep. It ain't that deep. It ain't that deep. Should we get back to the game? Yeah, are we ready? Yeah. Oh, Kaz has the A6000. Damn. What, you think you're better than us, Kaz? Damn, kids. All right. 
Nicely done. Come upstairs and do a reading for me, would you? Okay. Bling, blong, blong, bling, blong, blong. Okay, we have three cards now. Any ideas on what to read next? Yeah, a book. Hmm. How about that? I'm going to read your desire. I want to find out what your true intentions are. You want to expose your teacher? You'll give me an. You'll give. You'll. You'll give. You'll. You'll give me no you'll, quarter. You'll. You'll. Huh? Give, you'll give. You'll. 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 Give, you'll. Give. Huh? Huh? Okay. Huh? I'm game. Do your worst. I need to know for the sake of our relationship. Swip, 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 swip. The same three cards over and over again. Oh yeah. Hell yeah. Our new one. Assign it. Hi, Olive. You would like to be almighty again, greater than this universe. You are deeply depressed. You yearn for peace of mind. Oh, we have two choices here, huh? Yeah. You would like to be almighty, or you yearn for peace of mind. Do you want to be greater than the universe, or peace of mind? Or are you depressed? I feel like he's this, or they're this. Yeah. We'll go with that. You would like to be almighty again, greater than this universe. What do you mean, again? I am almighty already. I'm powerful enough to allow you to create this super powerful divination deck. If this deck is so powerful, it shouldn't be far off from the truth, right? Um, that reminds me of my least favorite commercial. This is a side tangent. My least favorite commercial is this one for, like, delivery groceries or something. And the commercial starts with this little girl looking at her mom and going, Um, if you're such a go-getter, why don't you go get the groceries? Nothing makes Julia angrier than this little girl in this I commercial. Hate that commercial. I hate it so much. First of all, I hate watching children act. I hate I have like a weird thing against it. But then that commercial itself makes me want to yeet that child out the damn window. I'm yeah. Sorry. Yeah. I hate it so much. What a little shit. Anyway. <laughs> Um, if this deck is so powerful, why don't you just go get power? <laughs> uh, if this deck is so powerful, it shouldn't be far off the truth, right? Ah, uh, okay, I guess I could do without being imprisoned every so often. Can't wait for this universe to end so that I can start again with a clean slate. Is... is this universe close to its end? <laughs> don't worry about it, master. Beings of your existential scale won't ever get to even sense how a universe ends. Which is our immortal. Why wouldn't we be able to reach the end of time? You are not immortal. You don't age, but you can be killed. Entropy will get to all sentient beings before they can witness even the beginning of the end. And you? Only us, the behemoth kin, are unable to unexist. Not even gods resist the decay of reality. It all returns to nothing. I don't really understand. You won't. You wouldn't. Mm, I think I'm going to draw another card. Oh, what for? You're quite a difficult character to read. I just can't tell what your deal is. In addition to your desire, I need to ask... Why do you behave like this? Why are you like this? <laughs> why are you like this? What do you mean by this? Shh, let the card speak. Chip chop sweep swap. Coming of age, baby. Get that wolf mother out there. <laughs> He's growing up. You want to be my friend? You crave my approval. You are trying to seduce me. You feel the need to make your superiority clear. I feel like it's this or the first one. Yeah. Maybe let's go with the first one. I like that one. I think it's like an interesting one. Yeah. Gives them gives them some some depth. Yeah. You want to be my friend. You crave my approval. You don't mince words, eh? That's just what the card said. Yes, but you're the one phrasing it. In any case, it comes as a surprise. 
I would never have pictured a superior being like you needing validations from someone like me. I wouldn't go as far as needing validation. I'll just die if I don't get it. <laughs> but it is true that I would love to be friends. I like you a lot. Well, we only have each other now, so aren't we friends already? Hmm, nah, doesn't feel like it yet. I'd say for now we're partners at best. But I trust that in time we can develop a beautiful friendship beyond common interest. Or at least I hope you don't just dump me after you get what you want out of your contract. Do I smell abandonment issues here? If you only knew what I've been put through. I'm all ears. I'm not in the mood, not with that attitude of yours. Ah, uh, I'm sorry. I just find it amusing to see the forbidden behemoth of legend dealing with such mundane problems. Hey, personal relationships are far from mundane. They're one of the greatest energies of the cosmos, air and water, remember? True, true. I'm sorry. Yeah, you were being a dick for no reason. <laughs> you really went in for the kill with this reading, didn't you? That's my divination style. We don't dig into the intense stuff. We might as well just have a normal conversation. You're absolutely right. I can see I won't get bored with you. What now? I'm the one that needs some rest after today's session. Go and review what we've studied so far and get ready for tomorrow's lesson. Fire is the last seal and also the most trying of the energies. Very well. Good night! Sleep tight! Were you the leader of your coven? Were you the leader of your coven, how would you punish someone for having summoned Abramar? Would exile suffice? Would you be able to forgive something like this? Or maybe you would think it worthy of death? I would just think it's pretty chill. I mean, Abramar seems pretty chill sometimes. Yeah. So. No problem, no problem. Where, where, did, where did they go? Just down. <laughs> and way. then back up. Ready for more? Yes. How have you found the ceremony so far? Do you want to review any elements before continuing? Mm, I don't think so. It was pretty basic stuff. Understood. What's the matter? You're not as chipper as usual. Ah, uh, yes. I'm sorry. Fire is usually my favorite lesson. And it marks the final step before our contract becomes effective, which I'm looking forward to. But... I have a bad feeling about this. That's odd. Based on your act and all so far, I thought you enjoyed the threat of dire consequences. Oh, of course I do. That kind of adrenaline is my favorite thing in the cosmos. What is it then? Look, you're right. I better stop dwelling on silly worries and focus on our training. I'm just moody for some reason. It's not silly. What do you say we look into it with our cards when we finish today's lesson? That might be a good idea. That's one of the perks of being summoned to buy a fortune teller. <laughs> so true, bestie. You're on. It'll be a good challenge as the final test for this new deck. That's the Abramar I know. I need you sharp for the final lesson. Fire it is, then. This element is usually feared by most and yearnt for by those with ill will. People get a little yearnt for it. <laughs> But fire is more versatile than most magic practitioners think it is. Fire represents adversity, battle, everything that is against you. Fire is challenge, intimidation, the fuel of every battle. Fire is your wrath. Fire is... Conflict. Exactly. But don't just dwell on the negative aspects of that definition. Conflict also means growth. The only time fire is bad is when you're on the losing side. And even in defeat, there's a great deal of growth. We are the living example of that. <laughs> Master your fire and you will conquer anything the cosmos throws at you. To tell you the truth, I'm more intimidated by water. I'm actually quite fond of fire. <laughs> Maybe that's why we get along so well. Now, the final contract. This answer will affect your fate profoundly. For the fire seal. What will you sacrifice to access my magic? We had a good run of it. 
Immortality or the Coven? I mean, the Coven done fucked us over, so we could fuck them over too. But the Coven didn't fuck us over. That one person fucked us over. It was a Dana. A Dana. And it's not good enough to punish. Our desires are not good enough to punish someone else. We can't sacrifice my immortal though. It's too good of a song. I don't know what she's doing. Do you want to do my immortality? I think so. I wouldn't like sacrifice someone else. <laughs> Romance is fleeting, kill the lover. <laughs> Damn. That's true though, actually. Romance is fleeting, so you can romance again. You'll love someone else the most later. After the first person you love the most dies because of your contract. <laughs> It's not so bad. I can't believe we're married. Well, if you're immortal, <laughs> you can love someone else the most later. God. I'm Olive, doing my uh, immortality. Olive, why are you stumble assing around? Because she's got energy. My immortality. Oh, wow. Are you sure about that? You'll live a maximum of another 60 years after you pay the price. Plus, you won't be able to live in space anymore. You'll have to go down to Earth and live among humans. Do you want to reconsider? No. This is my final answer. This is my fight song. As you wish. I will etch your decision into the cosmic wheel and pray it doesn't break you apart when the time comes to pay the price. Brace yourself. <laughs> Julie getting a lawyer after the stream. I <laughs> uh, can't breathe. This pain, it burns. It's breaking my atoms apart. I love it. Help me. Fortuna? Let's go. Let's freaking go. Olive is kicking the buttons on the sound bar. Let's freaking go, actually. Hell yeah. Um, hello? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Oh, I love the three masks. Hell yeah. That was Julia again. What the fuck? I'm everywhere. That was Grandmother Willow. <laughs> okay. Okay. Wake up. Damn. Fortuna, wake up. What? What happened? Sorry, I had to wake you up. You've been asleep for a couple of days. You dropped dead after we sealed the fire contract. I thought it might be too much, so I let you rest. I feel dizzy. I had the weirdest dreams. It was like an anime cutscene. I felt Anime really intro cool. cinematic. <laughs> I saw a lot of hot women. Why are you just give oh, me a damn dialogue? What what'd you dream about? I <laughs> can't remember, but it felt premonitory. I feel bad for waking you up, but you have some business to attend to. What do you mean? Look at the window. You've got a visitor. Falcon. That's familiar from an arbiter. What's an arbiter? An arbitrage, the arbitrage office is an organism composed of former witches unaffiliated with any coven. That ensures no witch is operating outside the laws of the magical pact. They also rule over conflicts between different covens and rarely interfere with internal affairs. It was founded about 4,000 years ago, so it makes sense you don't know them? Yeah, this happened during my slumber. Why were they created? Well. Both the Arbiters and the Magical Pact were created after an especially bloody witch war that ended with our coven burning 87 witches inside of a white star. Brutal. To avoid future atrocities, some witches vowed to stop using magic and focus exclusively on keeping the peace. In the beginning, it was a group of devotees who wanted to avoid tragedy. But nowadays, it's mainly composed of outcasts that have to sever the arbitrage off. Serve. That have to serve the arbitrage office and a lifelong punishment. 
Wow, things have gotten a lot bleaker since I was last put to sleep. This all happened before my time, but I'm more afraid of having witch wars and witch cops. And what do you think the Arbiter wants? Maybe they noticed they summoned you? That's impossible. My arts are untraceable. Then there's only one way to find out. Let's invite her over. Sure, I'll make myself invisible whenever you get a visit. Also, you have some energy pooled from sealing the fire contract in case you want to expand your deck before inviting the Arbiter over. Okay, plus I still owe you a reading, right? Ah, uh, don't worry about it. There will be time for that. Okay, okay, but you're not off the hook. We'll look into what worries you eventually. As if I could escape you. Can I... Let's make another card, I guess. Make another card and talk to a bird. Make, make another, another card, card and talk to a bird. bird. Make another card and talk to a bird. 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 Yeah! <laughs> okay. What? Okay, so we can kind of do anything now. An enchanted opera house. But we, that... don't have, we don't have a good fire one yet, though. Oh, you make a good point. So we probably want to make a good fire one. Quicksand graveyard. It's a quicksand graveyard. graveyard. It magical... absorbs the bodies and turns their souls into heat. There we go. Demonic desert lands. Home of Dahlia, the Daggersmith Witch. Cool. The White Sands. <laughs> the Hollow is rolling. She's rolling and trolling. The White Sands of this dominion are cursed. Earth sediments wake up and transform into bone demons. Dahlia hunts them and uses their bodies and innards to craft ceremonial knives. War is meaningless. Look at that horse. He looks so funny. <laughs> Look at his face. <laughs> oh, I'm a dead horse. Oh, I've died. War I've died in war. War, war is hell. <laughs> One of the largest known stars, the Forbidden Behemoth, once was once imprisoned at the core of this red hypergiant. Ooh, so it ties to the Behemoth. It's true. Defrenia. Defrenia. A city of blacksmiths built inside the skeleton of a titanic behemoth. The bone marrow of the fallen beast burns for eons, so their forges are always alight. Hey. Go back. Oh, this is the game. This is the other game they made. Yeah. Oh. I have to make this joke, though, first, before we talk about that. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. What, what, is, what do they, what does someone do when they see your page on Facebook and they really like it and they want to get to know you better? What do they, what do they do? They friend you. <laughs> Yay! Alright, go to the next one now. Whoa, that's their old game they made. Yeah. That we haven't played, but it's always been on our list. Yep. It has always been on our list. Forgotten Factory. Many millennia ago, before witches cracked the cosmic code to manipulate matter, they built a factory under the crust of Venus. It was operated by iron golems and it allowed many human covens to expand beyond the solar system. All right. I'm thinking about this. I like the, this one, the art of this one. I like this one, the art of this one, but I know they're not gonna let us use the whole card. You know? Right. Go, go forward, go forward. But I liked the meaning of it. It was cool. This one's fun. I'm not really into this one. I love that horse. This, this one's great. Love the castle. This one I like in terms of its connection to the Forbidden Behemoth, story-wise. Okay. Art-wise, I'm not like, you know, crazy about it. Nah. Pretty mint on this one. Yeah. I think maybe that first one. A quicksand Graveyard? Yeah. It's a quick Do you like that sand? one? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Side reel lovers. No one look at the butt. I'm going to cover the butt. Don't look at it. Everybody stop. It. Stop looking at it. A goddess in love with a side reel snake. An ever burning passion that shatters the fabric of the void. Olive saw the butt. Had to run. She had to leave. She was like, this is. Oh, we could do the Duchess of Solace. Duchess of Solace. She's the lusty fairy. Fairy that offers her services as a dominatrix for sorceresses lost in lust. When a witch draws her power from passion, 
She can reach a point at which her libido takes control. <laughs> Sorry. With her extents... Extents? Just keep reading. Erotic repertoire. The Duchess of Solace has never failed to exhaust a lustful witch and return her to normal. Pyre of the Heretic. Oh, this we did like this one. I do like the art I feel like this. this would go good with what we got. Yeah. Although humanity has a long history of witch burning, they have never managed to burn a real witch. Burn. And then, of course, there's my favorite wolf. I mean, coyote. But the coyote's not really fire. No, unfortunately coyote's not. Coyote's like half fire. Yeah. <laughs> Can you imagine this coyote in that graveyard? Yeah, the coyote's got to be somewhere else. Somewhere cooler. So I don't know which one I like, actually. I like the burning one. I love this. Yeah, that's cool, too. Love that. So you like the pyre? This one? I just think it would work well with the art we got. Sure. Then we need something. Asteroids, pretty good. Asteroids are celestial bodies of destination. With a destination. When an asteroid is born, it is written in its core where and when it will crash. They bring fire and change. Ruby candle lamp. Ruby candle lamp. Unnatural crimson flames enlighten the dark paths of the mind. They shed light over hidden courage, but also rage. The fire whip of dominance. Popular tool among witch summoners to tame fire elementals. Spirits do not submit because of the pain, but because of the pleasure. Igniting saber. The blades are made of demon bones that can light on fire if you whisper the name of the beast that came from. That's very cool. Eyes for the night. Pain, Pain for, for the, the wraith. The Wait, inevitable three. I want to know about the inevitable so three. Good. That's just three birds. A summonable flock of legendary prey birds that can deliver any message, hunt any fugitive, and steal any trinket. I love them calling themselves the inevitable three, and it's just three birds. Yeah, I love that. What's so inevitable about them? They're just birds. That's great. The witch hunter, witch rifle. Uh, I don't feel like that really goes with. I like that one fiery sword. I like the asteroid. Could be good. Which one would you like? I like the igniting saber. Okay. I feel like this could be cool with what we got. Oh, wow, we. Lord. Okay. Oh, this is a wide image. Didn't realize it was so wide. God. Sorry, I just have to make yeah, gotta, anything gotta, smaller. Gotta move some things out of the way. So I can see anything. Okay. Ooh, we have this good archway. I feel like we should go towards the middle. Yeah, 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 Get yeah, that yeah, sun yeah, in there. yeah, 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 yeah. We yeah, could even yeah. frame it like that. It's like a little, the sun's like a little off center. It's gonna drive me crazy. Okay. Can it even get centered perfectly? Nope. That's pretty close. I guess as close as we're gonna get. Now it's worse than it was. I'm trying to get it in the middle of those pixels up top. I know, I know. I'm, I'm looking at it, but... I think that's as good as I can get it. Good enough. Which one of these three do you want? Definitely the hooded figure. And then we can put the pyre underneath them. Maybe, should we just cover that cross? Yeah.
Get some flames. Oh, I already have flames. Okay, bring that forward. Have a little hair on fire. Maybe have these flames like floating around nearby, like some ghost flames. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. Where'd the sword go? There it is. We're definitely going to need that sword. Put the sword on on their back. <laughs> That's pretty cool too. Have it down there. I like that also. What do you think? I like it. Overflowing with hate and regret, the quicksand taints its visitors, setting what scares you on fire. Saber channels wrath. The overstimulated fire energy becomes a cleansing power, death and rebirth. Sinner's rebirth. Sinner's rebirth. Judgment, test, rivalry, tragedy, change, rebirth. Love that. I don't think we have that many points left. Oh, we do. We could make something else. How much time do we got left? We don't have any time. Should we just talk to the person? Yeah, let's talk to the person. We'll do that and then we'll call it. Okay. It's Olive. She'll take her sweet ass time going up the stairs. Sure will. <laughs> Jacob. What? Clara has decided that you're her best friend. I'm her best friend? She's declared this today. I mean, that's a huge honor. I've literally not seen her in like, <laughs> <laughs> like seven months or something. Yeah. My niece has, de has declared Jacob her best friend. All right. This is huge news for me. Dear Fortuna, my name is Thea, and I write to you from the arbitrage office. Your personal situation caught the attention of my superiors who tasked me with reviewing your case. I would like to interview you regarding your exile and write a plea to your coven's leader to revisit your case if we judge the punishment to be excessive. Yours faithfully, Thea. Arbiter Badge 210, Rank Waxing Crescent. Hit her with the invite. I'm wow. here. Hello. Are you just waiting out there? I was waiting. Oh, she looks so friendly. Yeah, I like her. Thanks for having me. My name is Thea. Arbiter Badge 210. Thank you for coming, Arbiter. I really appreciate the office paying attention to my case. I've been isolated for 200 years so far. That's precisely why I'm here. The Arbitrage Office recently discovered your situation and we are worried it may go awry for the community. Excessive punishments beget rancor. And a thousand year long exile? That's the perfect recipe to build up a lot of bad blood. And we all know what a witch can do with a surplus of bad blood. <laughs> but I am here to help you. Let me know about your case and we'll look for a way to make you feel better. Thank you. I already had a meeting with Adana, the leader of your witch clan. Adana told me that you predicted the fall of your coven. She explained to me that she didn't punish you for that though, she punished you because of how you handled it. Apparently you plunged the coven into chaos, giving ill advice to any witch, telling them to prepare for the end times. And those actions almost destroyed the coven before its time. So she decided to exile you and deprive you of your deck so you can meditate on the range and meaning of your powers. Now that's the official version. I'm interested in what you have to say. Do you think what you did was wrong? No, a premonition that a grave should be disclosed to the community. I agree. You don't agree with your leader's judgment. That is not dangerous per se, but it's a bad ingredient to add to the pot of imprisonment. What would you have done then? If the end were nigh, you'd like to know, right? I shouldn't give my opinion. I have to act as a neutral party, Fortuna. Next question. Do you think your punishment is fair? Fuck no. Why? Absolutely not. This is way too excessive. I understand. Hardly anyone would accept this kind of sentence. 
How are you coping with centuries of isolation? At first it was hard, but now I think I can manage. Wow, you are strong. I'll see what I can do to improve your situation. I can leave less worried about you doing something drastic, right? Doing as in, in the future, right? <laughs> Not as if like- Already done it? Already done it? Yes, I believe so. I still don't understand why Adana deprived you of your tarot deck. I mean, if you're isolated, what does she care if you have your magic or not? That's something I'm supposed to reflect on while exiled. It's a pity because I'd have loved to have my fortune read. Anyway, before I leave as an arbiter, I'm obliged to ask. Anything to confess? Actually, I am crafting a new deck for divination. Oh, wow. That's bold. But I don't think what you're doing is illegal. Adana took your tarot deck from you, but she doesn't have authority over your new creations, yet. I'm sure she won't be happy to hear it, though. You don't need to report that to Adana, right? I trust in the office's neutrality. Of course. Unless you break the magical pact or it becomes relevant during a trial, we won't disclose sensitive information from our investigation. In any case, what I'm crafting isn't a tarot deck, it's something new. Oh, really? Can... can I see it? Would you like a reading? As an arbiter, it is my duty to make sure that your new project doesn't break the magical pact, so... I would love a reading very much. Yes, please. It'll be my pleasure. About to read your ass. Is there something you would like to ask of the deck? Mm, I want to know what's in the future regarding my career as an arbiter. Oh boy. Very well. I'm going to draw two cards for you. The first one will look into opportunity... The first one to look for opportunities and good omens. Then the second one to warn you about possible challenges or adversities. Uh, that's scary. Would you prefer not to know? No, please, go ahead. All right, here we go. You give her the bad news and she's like, another thousand years <laughs> of exile! <laughs> All right, we got the co the coven. This one feels good for opportunities. Good for good? Yeah. Promoted to a higher rank, you'll make a very important arrest. It'll be someone from my coven. Hey, Donna. Yeah. You're going to play a crucial role in future politics within the witch community. Promoted. How about that? What do you think? Maybe the crucial role one? The promotion one seems very generic. That's true. This is more interesting. You're going to play a crucial role in future politics within the witch community. What? I shouldn't. We Arbiters are a neutral party. Maybe it's something that falls into your line of duty. Maybe your splendid job as an Arbiter puts something misshapen back on track? Ah, that's great to hear. This is all speculation at this point, but what the cards let me see clearly is that it is specifically you who will play a crucial role in the future. Ah, the pressure. Okay, okay. I'm looking forward to it. A presence. Okay. The bad. Critical permanent injury or wound. Okay. Don't worry, everything's gonna be all right. <laughs> <laughs> um. I think we go with the critical permanent injury or wound. Really? Well, as the other one feels like we're just like bullshitting. All right, we'll say it. You will suffer a critical permanent injury or wound. No, why? I can't really tell how, but be careful. I can tell it will be violent. There's no way to avoid it? I'm sorry, but no. The best you can do is prepare for it. Understood. I'll focus on training my combat skills. It comes with the job, I guess. Be strong. Then you stab her. <laughs> well, what do you think of my new deck? She's like, um, it kind of sucks. It doesn't have a lot of cards in it. And you told me I was going to get a permanent wound. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I want to be adored. Oh, this right. is the, the first bit of it coming true. That was amazing and a bit scary, but mostly amazing. Thank you. Your gift could be a very valuable asset for our office. It's a crime that you're imprisoned here. Thank you. Well, uh, I shouldn't position myself in such matters. At least not that strongly. 
In any case, it's an objective truth that your skills are wasted in this forsaken rock. Now, as an arbiter, I can't simply overrule Adana's sentence, but I am going to lift the ban on visitation. Yes! Wow, you can really do that? I just requested a permit from the main office. It'll become effective as soon as my arbiter's notebook gets updated with the moon stamp. Joy's here. Hi, Joy. Arbitrage forms are updated in the master grimoire as soon as my pen touches the paper. All of what I've written so far is already in the office archives. Come on. You can go up if you want. Huh. You girls sure are efficient, eh? There are witch covens all around the universe. We can't afford to be traveling back and forth to the moon temple all the time. Makes sense. Hi, Joy. Hi, Joy. And it's official. You can now receive guests on your cute asteroid home. Ah, uh, this makes me happier than I can express. Teehee. You deserve this. I'm just happy to ease your pain. Thank you so much. I'm just doing my job. Do you want me to let your coven know? Mm, just let Jasmine and Dalio know for now. I'm not ready to go public yet. It's been 200 years. I understand. I'll send a falcon to each of them. Thanks again. I'll send one of the inevitable three to each of them. <laughs> well, I should be going now. It's been a pleasure to meet you, and thanks for the reading. Take care. Let me know if there's any trouble. Bye. <laughs> Falls off the broom. <laughs> <laughs> Arm gets My leg. bitten off by a space snake. Chapter two, making of a witch. This game is fantastic. It's really cool so far. It's really, really good. And I had a five minute long orgasm. Oh my God. No way, you're shitting me. How do you know it was five minutes? Were you counting? I swear, I don't know what he did to me. I pushed him away when I started coming. <laughs> he rolled up a cigarette and smoked it while watching me squirm. When he put it away, I was still fighting the last spasms over the carpet. Damn! I'm so jealous. I want to have a super orgasm too. How did he do it? Well, he put this special toy in my <laughs> oh butt. My God. <laughs> <laughs> that played a major role, but I think it was a combination of many factors. Hold on! Someone warned me about the butt, but not this? <laughs> Get it, Patrice? Someone said, um, you should know there's a butt on screen and they didn't warn me that this is how chapter two starts. Didn't, didn't tell you about Patrice. <laughs> they tell me that Patrice tells me way too much about my fucking <laughs> private life. Ah! <laughs> the incense, the cocktails he prepared, the music, the smell of the sea. <laughs> smells like ass. <laughs> this smells so bad. I'm from an island. I know. The plan oh. is just aligned. What can I say? So cool. <laughs> it's not so fun. It's not so fun for me. You should not write a book. I'd rather keep it between us. Yeah. Hold up. You can't. <laughs> it was shared with too many people. I don't want everybody to discover I'm a sex goddess. <laughs> no, you didn't do shit. Patrice, we're live on stream right now. Patrice, Patrice! stop talking. There's there's 1,500 people watching, Patrice. No, they're all seeing. I am a good Catholic girl. <laughs> Imagine dealing with all those slimy middle-aged guys at the office. True, true. You should calm down with the sex goddess stuff a little or you'll end up finding trouble. More trouble, I mean. Oh, come on. It's only been a couple of scares. What's life not for to for not to for enjoy ourselves with? You need to find someone half as good as me to understand all that good sex you've been missing out on, sis. Ew. I've got to say, I wouldn't mind experiencing for myself what a goddess can do. Eva, you're coming on too strong. <laughs> <laughs> what are you saying? You have Alicia. Actually, we broke up. Oh, you have Alicia. 
Yeah. I thought she was doing like a weird phrase, like calling her Alicia as slang. <laughs> oh, like by Felicia? Yeah, like by Felicia. You have Alicia. <laughs> you have Alicia. You have Alicia. Um, we're we're done. We're done. We're 14 minutes over. Okay, we gotta stop playing this game. I, I would play this forever if I could. It's so good. Maybe I'll continue it. I don't know. We'll see how we're feeling next week, but our schedule for the next couple of weeks is gonna be wild. So Yeah, we'll see. Someone said wait five more minutes. Why? Does something cool happen in five minutes? You have, Alicia. <laughs> oh, it's really good. We're gonna stop here. Well we can see what cool thing happens. Someone's next name time. who's Alicia for Ferris uh was in chat. Alicia. Alicia. You have. Uh, anyway, we're, drop the stream tomorrow. So true. Um, Patreon rewards go out Thursday? Thursday's the last day of the month? So true. So true, bestie. Uh, and we'll be back on Wednesday. So true. Here on Secret Sleepover. Society. It's all so true. Every word of it. New Drawfee episodes, as always, on Tuesdays and Thursdays at 1 p.m. Eastern time. So look forward to that. That's it. That's it. Thanks for watching, everyone. Thanks. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. -bye.